Hello students. Today's lecture is on dye reduction test which is included in the chapter of microbial analysis of milk. The main objectives of this lecture is to understand about dye reduction test and to study methylene blue reduction time test which is also called as a MBRT test. So the principle of dye reduction test. This test is based on particularly the OR potential or oxidation reduction potential which can be defined as generally as it is a chemical process in which the substrate either loses the electron or gains electrons. When a compound loses electron the substrate is said to be oxidized but when it gains the electron that substrate becomes reduced. When milk is present in the udder of healthy mammal, it has a sufficiently low redox potential. But during the processing of milk, like during milking process or cooling, dumping of milk, all this process results in increase in the oxidation reduction potential of milk because of the addition of atmospheric oxygen in milk. Dye reduction tests are mainly based on the activity of bacterial dehydrogenase enzyme. Dehydrogenase enzyme is mainly responsible for the transfer of hydrogen from a substrate which act as a donor to a biological acceptor or towards the redox dyes and after which that dye will get reduced and which results in the change in the color of that dyes. When the bacterial cells multiply, during their growth, they consume the oxygen and hence the dyes act as an electron acceptor instead of oxygen. During the growth of the organism, more and more oxygen will be consumed which results in reduction in the redox potential. And this decrease in the redox potential changes the color of the dye that is from colored state to leucoform or to colorless. Therefore, these dyes are called as a redox dyes as there will be change in the color of the dye after reduction. These dyes are also known as a leucoform dyes. Leuco means colorless. Example of these dyes includes methylene blue and resazurin. The rate of reduction of dyes, that means the rate of change in the color of the dye will depend on the enzyme activity and which has been used as an index of the number of bacteria which are present in milk. The time which is required for the reduction of the dye is inversely proportional to the bacterial number which are present in the sample. Means if the number of the bacteria is more in the sample, the time that will require for the reduction of the dye will be less because 
more number of microorganisms result in more consumption of the oxygen so less time will be required for the reduction of the dye or less time will be required for change in the color of the dye to colorless form the reductase test are usually called as a dye reduction test because dimethylene blue is used which is the example of a redox dye advantages of dye reduction test dye reduction test can be used for estimating the suitability of milk for liquid consumption these tests are cheaper and less time is required in case of spc that is standard plate count the clump of microorganisms are recorded as a one colony whereas in dye reduction test the rate of decolorization of dye is due to the combined metabolic effect of each bacterium which are present in the clump with the help of this test the activity is measured rather than by counting the number of bacteria which are present in the sample in this test the milk is directly used which can act as the natural environment for the growth of the microorganisms while during estimating the number of microorganisms present in the milk sample by standard plate count method artificial media are used some of the bacteria are capable of reducing the dye may not develop colonies on the medium which is used in standard plate count so next to the advantages disadvantages of dye reduction test in dye reduction test rate of reduction of dyes varies considerably and which is related to the species of the organism the rate at which different microorganisms grow at a particular temperature the presence of inhibitory substances in milk particularly the presence of antibiotic prevent the growth of bacteria and which increases the time which is required for the reduction of dye this method of dye reduction test is not suitable for classification of the milk which contain very less number of the bacterial cells that is less than 10 raised to 5 cells per ml the reduction capability may vary because of variation in proportion of bacteria which are carried into the cream layer by the rising of fat globules these tests do not give indication for which type of microorganisms that are present in the sample the temperature of incubation which is used for dye reduction test may not be optimum for majority of the microorganisms which are present in milk dye reduction test is not suitable for testing quality of pasteurized milk because this pasteurized milk contains low number of microorganisms this test requires continuous attention until the reduction of dye takes place so the first example of dye reduction test is methylene blue reduction time test or 
it is also known as MVRT test. This test is widely used in dairy industry to determine the number of microorganisms that means to determine the microbial load which is present in the milk. This test involves the addition of a redox dye that is methylene blue into a milk sample and measure the time which is required for the reduction of methylene blue that means measure the time which is required for change in the color of methylene blue from blue to colorless. Methylene blue is a redox indicator which loses its color due to the removal of oxygen from milk and due to the formation of reducing substances during the growth of microorganisms. The disappearance of color in a short time indicates that there may be the presence of high number of bacteria in milk sample. That means there may be a presence of high microbial load in sample. It is assumed that greater the number of microorganisms, more and more oxygen will be required for their growth means there will be more demand of oxygen and lesser the oxygen concentration in medium due to its utilization results in the faster disappearance of the color of redox dye that means faster disappearance of the color of methylene blue. This fact has been used as a broad indicative test of microbial load representing microbial quality of milk. One atom of hydrogen is taken up by the double bonded nitrogen of methylene blue which results in reduction of that methylene blue and oxidized methylene blue which is blue in color is get converted to leucoform of methylene blue which is a colorless form of methylene blue. Procedure of MBRT test. So take three test tubes, label it as a positive control test and negative control. Out of these three test tubes, add one as to 250,000 dilution of methylene blue solution, one ml in a tube which is labeled as a test and 1 ml in a tube which is labeled as a negative control. Then add 10 ml of milk sample in a tube which is marked as a positive control and the second tube which is marked as a test. Take 10 ml of boiled milk in a tube which is marked as a negative control. Add 1 ml of tap water in a tube which is marked as a positive control. After addition of all this reagent, then incubate all these three tubes in a water bath at 37 degrees Celsius and after every half an hour we have to observe for decolorization that means we have to observe whether there will be a reduction of dye which can be occurred by change in the color of the dye. Now in a tube which is labeled as a positive control after addition the color will appear as a white color because this tube in which there is no addition of a methylene blue solution. While 
a tube which is marked as a negative control which contain methylene blue and boiled milk. Now boiled milk will not contain any microorganisms. The boiling will kill all the organisms that are present in the sample due to which there will be no utilization of the oxygen. There will be the no reduction of the redox dye that is methylene blue and the dye will remain as a blue color. And you have to record the time which is required for change in the color of the tube which is labeled as a test from blue to white. Initial color will be blue that is due to the presence of methylene blue solution in a tube. But during the incubation at 37 degrees Celsius, the microorganisms which are present in the milk sample will utilize, will consume the oxygen which is present in the milk and which are responsible to create a reduced condition in the milk sample and which results in the reduction of methylene blue and which converts the methylene blue oxidized form of methylene blue into the reduced form which is a leuco form or which is a colorless form. So the blue color of the methylene blue will get converted to white color. The time which is required for change in the color of from blue to white will depends upon the number of microorganisms that will be present in the milk sample. More number of microorganism then there will be more demand of the oxygen and the less time will be required for the reduction of the methylene blue. If that sample contain less number of the microorganism, then there will be the less demand of the oxygen for the growth of the organism. So more time will be required for the reduction of the methylene blue dye. Result interpretation. MBRT test is used to judge the quality of milk and this quality of milk will depends upon how much time that will be required for the reduction of the methylene blue. If the reduction of the methylene blue occurs within 30 minutes, then the quality of that milk will be very poor. If the reduction of methylene blue occurs in between 30 minutes to 2 hours, then that pill will be of poor quality. If the time that is required for change in the color of methylene blue from blue to colorless is in between 2 to 6 hours, then that milk will be of fair quality. And if the reduction occurs between 6 to 8 hours, then that quality of the milk will be of good quality. And if the time which is required for the reduction of the methylene blue is more than 8 hours, then the quality of the milk will be of excellent quality. Greater is the number of microorganisms in milk, the greater will be the metabolic activity and faster is the reduction of the methylene blue. Next is grading of pill based on MBRT as per Bureau of Indian Standards. Now this grading will also depends upon the time that is required for the change in the color of the methylene blue dye. That means 
the time which is required for the reduction of the methylene blue. If the time required is of 5 hours or more than 5 hours, then the quality of the milk will be very good. If the time of the reduction is in between 3 to 4 hours, then that will be of good quality milk. If change in the color of the dye requires a time in between 1 to 2 hours, then fair quality milk. And if that milk will get reduced within half hours, that means if the dye, the methylene blue dye which is present, get converted to reduce form within half an hour or less than half an hour, then that will be of poor quality raw milk. So the reduction time will depends upon the number of microorganisms present in the milk sample. If more number of the microorganism will be present, there will be less time required for the reduction of the methylene blue means less time will be required for change in the color of the redox dye. Next will be the factors affecting MBRT test. Now the best, this test is based on the principle of a redox potential. The oxygen content must be used during the growth of the microorganisms and when there will be the utilization of oxygen during the growth, the dye which is present will get reduced which results in color disappearance. Any manipulation that increase the oxygen content affects the test. Cold milk holds more oxygen than warm milk. So more time will be required for the reduction of methylene blue. Pouring milk back and forth from one container to another. That means the transfer of milk from one vessel to another vessel will add the oxygen in the milk and which increases the time that will be required for the reduction of the methylene blue. During milking time, much oxygen may be absorbed in milk. The rate of reduction of dye will depend on the type of microorganisms which are present in milk sample. Coliforms appear to be most rapidly reducing microorganism means when there will be the presence of coliforms in the milk sample, less time will be required for the reduction of redox dye, that is reduction of methylene blue. After coliform, the next organism will be lactobacillus, then fecal streptococci and then certain micrococi. Psychrotrophic organisms means the organisms which grows at a refrigeration temperature, they can reduce methylene blue very slowly. That means more time will be required for the reduction of methylene blue if that milk sample contains psychrotrophic organisms. Presence of a large number of leukocytes in a mastitic mill will affect the reduction time materially. Light hastens reduction process and therefore the test should be carried out in presence of low light. Concentration of dye should be uniform as an increased concentration lengthens or increases the time of reduction. By increasing the incubation temperature, the activity of bacteria will also increase and which reduces the time that will be required 
for the reduction of methylene blue dyes. So these are the different factors which can affect the MBRT test. Another factor includes creaming of milk causes number of microorganisms to be removed from a milk and brought that all organism to the surface with the rising of fat. This factor causes variation in the reduction times since the bacteria are not evenly distributed throughout the sample. The accuracy of test is increased, reduction time will be reduced and decolorization more uniform if the samples are periodically inverted during incubation. Next is the advantages of MBRT test which includes simple, rapid and inexpensive. By using this test, only the viable cells which are present in the milk sample will get counted as only viable cells actively reduce the redox dye. Disadvantages Not all organisms which are present in the milk will reduce the dye equally and this test is not applicable to food which contain reducing enzymes. The presence of reducing enzyme in the food interferes with the time that is required for the reduction of redox dye. References Fundamental Principles of Bacteriology by Sally and a Comprehensive Dairy Microbiology by J.S. Yadav. Thank you.